Well, I've been interested in chemistry for as long as I can remember. I had a chemistry set, actually, when I was young. I used to spend time in, my, in the garage with my dad, who was also a chemist, and I love to inspire that same sort of enthusiasm in our undergraduate students. Sussex is one of the world's leading research universities, and it has excellent facilities for synthetic chemistry and areas applied to synthetic chemistry. Chemistry is ultimately a creative subject. We're trying to find new ways of solving problems, so being able to instill those sorts of skills in our students right from the beginning is absolutely paramount. Historically, chemistry is quite a standalone discipline. It's one of the first sciences to emerge out of alchemy hundreds of years ago. But increasingly now, it's becoming more and more important to collaborate with other areas of science uh, in order to achieve cutting edge research and exciting new developments. The most important thing about um, prospective students is that they have a passion for the subject. If they love the subject, I know that they're going to do well here because every other student feels exactly the same as them as they want to make the world a better place. All our degrees are accredited by the Royal Society of Chemistry. The way they're designed is that, is that the first two years give you a solid base in chemistry and then in the third year you have options and then in the fourth year you do a, a research intensive project so you join one of the research labs. I think chemistry has got a big role to play in answering the big questions that we have today. Within Sussex we're focusing both on energy research and on drug discovery and chemistry really sits at the centre of these research activities and the role of chemists is pivotal to bring together those scientific disciplines and to enable the progress and the discoveries to be made. Here at Sussex we have our own chemical science society. It's C60, so we invite lecturers from other universities, from industry for example. We try to teach people how to not only work individually but work as a team. So by going into schools and running workshops you're enhancing your presentational skills, you're enhancing working with others but also working independently and all of these skills are vital for when you graduate. I say Sussex Distinctive because when I came on the open day they made it clear that there's a lot of contact time with your like, lecturers. And there's also quite small class sizes, so your lecturers know you and you know the lecturers, so it's a lot easier to go and ask them for help. All the members of staff will know you by your first name, and you know, it's a very friendly atmosphere to study in. Our approach is very, very interactive. So we have an open door policy. Each student when they arrive, is just, they're assigned an academic advisor, they'll be one of the lecturers like me. So they've always got someone that's there for them throughout their time at Sussex. Chemistry is really considered to be an enabling science, so that chemistry students have the potential to go on to a wide variety of scientific careers. I think it's vital that our students are taught by active researchers so we can take them to the cutting edge frontiers of chemistry and they can really learn the new developments that are going to be essential for their own research careers or their own next steps in industry. In addition to the learning, we really want to be able to, to stretch them academically and give them the confidence to actually go out and tackle any problem that they may face in the future. This year I'm hoping to take part in the university's junior research associate scheme so essentially you end up working in one of the research labs and the university will pay you for that. And all of the research is cutting edge, it gives you the opportunity to get your name on a journal. As a student coming to Sussex to study chemistry, you get to be part of the research activities. There are some big questions we're trying to answer in chemistry and you get to be part of answering those questions. Chemistry is learning about medicines and how they work and why they work. And in order to do that, you can sort of change medicine to be better or even create a new medicine, and that's really something to aspire to.